Number 52, what is the minimum width of a single slit in multiples of lambda that will produce a first minimum for a wavelength lambda? Right. So um, basically, let's take this formula, d sine theta is equal to ma, uh, m lambda. Now, uh, we're using that because we're talking about a single slit uh, and minimum uh, patterns. So this is the formula. Now, we got to talk about d, right? So just simply divide or solve for it. So we got to divide out the sine of theta. So now <clears throat> what it's asking or what it's saying is that what is the minimum width for a single slit <clears throat> that will produce a first minimum? So what is M? Well, it says first minimum. So M is one, okay? Now we said we wanna find a minimum width for D. <coughs> feeling good guys, feeling good. So we gotta produce a minimum D, which means we gotta maximize the denominator. The ma maximum value of sine of theta is when sine uh, is when theta is 90, right? And when theta is 90, what does this thing become? It becomes one. So in other words, to answer this question, uh, the you know distance between, or the distance of the slit is equal to just lambda. Um, yeah. That's A and B. What is the minimum width if it produces 50 minima? So what does that mean? All that means is that the M has changed now. It's still a minimum, so sine is still going to, sine of theta is still one because the angle has to be a maximum to produce the maximum value of sine of theta. And therefore, the math is literally gonna work out the same way. This is now 50 lambda, okay? And then C, I think you see the pattern, that's going to be 1000. Lambda, it's all the same math as letter A. Guys, thanks for tuning in. The only thing that's changing is the M. And I will see you in the next video. All right, if you can, like and subscribe. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.